It's been a while since the last episode, the one that had fans so divided, of Game of Thrones premiered. The show pretty much revolutionized fantasy television with its amazing visuals and compelling stories. What most viewers didn't get to see, though, were the entertaining backstage photos of the actors and pictures of extras. We've got you covered. Here are some behind-the-scenes photos of the actors and dragons that we got to see. To say that Game of Thrones was one of the biggest shows on TV just a few years ago is no exaggeration. The last season racked in an average of 30.6 million viewers per episode, allowing the show to establish itself as a cultural phenomenon. It's clear that the show relied a lot on computer animation and technology for its more fantastical elements. But just how much of what we saw was real, fake, or a combination of both? Many of the special effects were more based in the real world than you may think, and many of the sets actually looked just as epic off-screen as they did on. Besides the filming struggles and special effects department, many other things went on behind the scenes as well. There were tons of candid moments and surprising fun facts that went on during the show's creation. Friendships and strong bonds were formed over the years between the cast and crew, even between the actors who played antagonistic roles in the show. Without further ado, let's take a look at some behind-the-scenes photos from the show. Cersei and Tyrion Lannister, the siblings who were out to kill each other in the show, are actually good friends in real life. If you're at all familiar with the show, you'll know that the two Lannisters don't exactly get along. Of course, we all know that the show is an act and that the relationships between the characters don't always translate into the actors' real-life relationships with each other. No more than the dragons from the show exist in real life. But these actors play their roles so convincingly that we honestly forget sometimes that they don't hate each other in real life. This picture has captured a rare moment between Peter Dinklage, who plays Tyrion, and Lena Headey, who plays Cersei, sharing a laugh over something on Hetty's phone. Also, this picture of a White Walker may surprise you. There are many reasons for Game of Thrones using CGI, but it may come as a shock that one of the most impressive parts of the show is actually real. You got that right. The White Walkers actually look the same off-screen as they do on-screen. According to Barry Gower, the show's prosthetic designer, the White Walkers were originally inspired by The Walking Dead, but over time, formed a life of their own. The result? A kind of zombie we've never seen before. The making of the whites was just as surprising. Here's another prime example of the show's ability to mix reality with CGI. You can see how costuming and prosthetics alongside green screen technology can create the look of the decaying whites. You can also see that CGI has definitely come a long, long way in making visions like this come to life. Even with the bits involving green screens, this white here is just as intimidating and scary as the final product. The White Walker battle really shows off the prosthetics and makeup. You can see a green screen battle covering the backdrop during scenes like this, and it's where the special effects department's strategy of mixing reality with computer animation comes in. Even though the most important part of the scene, the White Walkers, are the real deal, the snowy backdrop needed something more. That's where the green screens came in. Even the mountain was the real deal. The guy who plays the mountain, aka Gregor Clegane, half Thor Bjornsson, was officially crowned the world's strongest man. He's actually that huge in real life, and just as strong and terrifying too. The guy measures 6 foot 9 inches tall and weighs a shocking 397 pounds, so it seems like they really got the best mountain for the job. The zombie polar bear, however, wasn't as real. The White Walkers may have been created by prosthetic geniuses, but not all the monsters were. The showrunners had wanted to create the monster for years and worked on it for a long while. But believe it or not, the effects team and quite a few actors weren't very impressed by the idea of it. The special effects team in particular found the task daunting, and the actors thought it was kind of ridiculous. Rory McCann, the guy who plays the Hound, called it a ping-pong ball thing and said he found it hard to act in front of the contraption. The end result, though? Pretty awesome. Khaleesi's dragons were all the computer animator's task. Daenerys's dragon dragons were another one of the animator's doings. In this case, a green screen was the way to go. The contraption that Amelia Clark had to ride on while pretending she was soaring the skies on one of her magnificent dragons was massive. Not only was it huge, but the shape kind of resembled a flying dragon too. Clark essentially had to ride the biggest mechanical bull we've ever seen. We have to commend her acting skills for being able to keep a straight face during these scenes, especially during this one BTS picture you've probably seen. If you laughed when you first saw this picture, don't don't worry, we did too. Amelia Clark may play a pretty awesome dragon queen in the show, but the reality is far from awesome. Of course, we have nothing against the special effects department. They're the backbone of the entire show. But even so, it's hard to take Danny seriously with a green screen mold in her hand that's meant to be a dragon head. Also, what about their fire breathing? The dragons may not be real, but the fire sure is. 
thanks to some brave and professional stuntmen, along with some great camera work and a flamethrower rigged to a track. That's as real as a dragon fight scene can get. Another picture with the character's body doubles will make you look again. These look like some pretty dedicated cosplayers. For scenes where a character's face isn't shown, and when they need to be doing stunts, body doubles or stand-ins are used in their place. And we see why these people got the job. They bear a striking resemblance to their counterparts. Let's take a look at Jon Snow getting cozy with one of the dragons. But then again, it's easy to do that when the dragon is nothing but a fake head. We all know that Kit Harington and Amelia Clark have to use their imaginations a great deal when it comes to CGI dragons. Thanks to movie magic, or in this case, TV magic, the audience doesn't have to do the same kind of imagining. After that, there's a lot more prosthetic realism happening than you know. When you see Tyrion's face double and the Night King, remember that you're looking at some of the makeup and prosthetic department's best work. But what's more impressive than the prosthetic work is the actors who have to wear the faces. The Night King's process is an especially grueling one, taking around four hours to complete. The painstaking detail that goes into the final looks is truly mesmerizing. Next up, we've got a rare picture of the Stark children smiling together. Season 1, A Simpler Time For fans who've been there from the very beginning, it's easy to forget that we've watched these actors and their characters grow up before our very eyes. This looks at all the kids together, and smiling really takes us back. Here's another one of some unlikely characters sharing a life. Since so many of the characters are together in this shot, it's fair to believe that this must have been taken in the last season where worlds were colliding left and right. With such long and grueling shooting hours and so much downtime between scenes, it's not very surprising that the cast got to know each other so well. You may see only serious faces in the show, but off screen, this is more what the set looks like. The shot showing off a crowded palace from a scene in one of the episodes shows that a lot of the show is real. This one isn't a picture of some epic battle scene or fantastical monster. Instead, it gives you a more realistic side of the Game of Thrones set. Here, you can see Marjorie Tyrell, who played Natalie Dormer, sitting and chilling with a bunch of other ladies inside the palace. Everything from the intricate details of the background to the perfect costumes and hair, the shot really shows that some of the sets will truly transport you to the world of Westeros. Not to forget, a picture of Khal Drogo smiling. This is definitely a sight for sore eyes. Most fans haven't gotten over the death of their beloved Dothraki warlord-in-chief, played by Jason Momoa. His toxic love story and relationship with our Dothraki queen aside, fans still hated to see him go. You won't find many shots of Khal Drogo cracking a smile in the show, but here, he looks pleasant and even super cuddly if we do say so ourselves. Maybe he doesn't know about his fate yet. Also, let's talk about Balon Greyjoy's assassination. This scene appears in an episode where Euron Greyjoy ends his brother Balon so he can take control of the Iron Throne. When this scene first aired, you can probably remember the setting as being super dark and somber, with a bit of a blue hue and fog settling over the entire screen. They also appear to be towering over a cliff, but this picture shows that the bridge isn't really in the mountains at all. It's all green screen magic. And finally, some pictures also predict the super long shooting hours. Infamously, the Battle of the Bastards took 55 whole days to shoot. It shouldn't be surprising that for a set as massive as this, with so many intricate details taken care of, the cast and crew all had to endure their share of bad weather and long hours, as you can probably tell from this picture. There's many more BTS pictures of the show you can find online, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Which of these scenes did you think were real, and which of them could you tell were CGI'd? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.